Hello, we're going to show you how to use the Pandori tool. Okay, what we're going to do is first open the zip that is on the website. And we will extract it to a folder on the hard disk drive. Anyway, it's fine. Here we got uh, D Pandora testbed. Then we're going to go to scraper.net. Okay, this is uh, what we need to download the videos for each ROM. Just pop that anywhere on the drive and then install it by just extracting it anywhere. You'll need WinRAR to extract this, but pop it on the desktop into its own folder. Okay. On that, we need to pop some ROMs into the ROMs folder. Z. Okay, so we've got Scraper on the desktop there. Okay, now what we need to do is pop your games in. Okay, so I've got some ROMs here. Okay, um, so this is Pandora Test at Bed ROMs. We're just going to pop in some Game Boy games. Make sure they're not zipped. This is very important. Okay, so I'll put the Game Boy games into the GBC folder, Game Boy Advance, go in the GBA folder, this MAME 37B5, that goes to the MAME 37, Mega Drive ROMs, again these need to be not in a zip format, they need to be in SMDs or bins, N64 ROMs, they need to be I think N64, but I'm not too sure if it's too fussy, the NES, pop in the NES folder, PC Engine, PC Engine folder, da -da -da -da. Okay, PlayStation ROMs, uh, I think IMG is preferred, but I believe that some PBPs work too. PSP ROMs, CSO don't work, I don't think, but yeah, whatever, you can try them. And the SNES ROMs, there you go. Okay, now we can uh, scrape the videos for each ROM. So we need to open up this scraper UI. Uh, you can make an account if you want, but I just choose the bottom one, it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Next. And now it'll take a while to update. I'll just skip the video here. Skip. Skip. Bang. There we go. Okay, we choose Recal Box. And then we click that, include ROMs, Durka Durkas. Then we need to write in here our. Uh, Pandora test bed, and then we need the ROMs directory, okay? So, uh, just add backslash ROMs, and then hit scan. And as you see, we've actually only hit 12 machines detected here, okay? So, what we need to do is, look, it's actually, look, 15 now, but we need to add three, okay? What's missing? Here we go. The main ones, they're missing, okay? So, we're gonna add these. Just hit next two times, next, next, because you can't actually change them in that window. And then press the bottom left plus button, and then scroll down to where you see MAME. Should be on the arcade emulators, I think. There you go, emulation arcade, MAME. Hit OK. Then we need to change it so it's the correct folder. There we go, instead of arcade, just remove that and write in MAME um, 37. <laughs> Press plus again, MAME, okay, MAME 78, and we can add the last one, MAME 139, okay, now that's it, click on all systems, and at the top where it says media, for image mix, we need to get rid of that, and we need to change it to video, and on the right one, just remove that. Okay, now all we need to do is press the play button and it'll scrape all of the videos for the ROMs that you want to add. This will take a while. Boom. Okay, now that's set, we can just get rid of uh, Scraper. Now we can use the Pandori tool. We're just going to check the media's there. 
see that media videos there we go and the game list is there too okay so uh, we're gonna go into now the command prompt by hitting the start menu and typing CMD and clicking that now with this we need to go into the Pandora directory okay so we're gonna go here D CD Pandora and we're also going to format the USB stick which is here it's the H drive so right click that and format I'm going to change to XFAT and it needs to be I think 32 kilobytes okay once you're formatted we're going to command prompt and type in Pandori space add space and you got the source directory and then the destination so we got here D colon forward slash Pandora testbed forward slash ROMs backslash is fine too space and then H colon forward slash and Pandori will do its job Okay, once Pandora has finished this job, all you need to do is eject the media safely. So just right click on the USB drive, eject. Remove it and then pop it in the bottom USB port in your Pandora Games 3D. Uh, thanks for listening guys. If you found this useful, please consider buying us a cup of coffee.